on everything that we got going on here. But just to give you a little background on the company and kind of what we're all about, the name of the company is UA Direct, and we are an international distribution company that specializes in the technology industry. So it's taking technology from all around the globe, mainly Asia, um, packaging it, getting it compliant, and then obviously bringing it here to the United States of America. Okay, so the very first product that we're launching is the U-Box. Um, we're very excited about it. It's about year and a half, two years in the making, but about, realistically, three weeks in actually being here. So we're super excited about all the growth. Uh, just so you guys understand the names on the wall, Money Street Incorporated, um, they're the venture capitalist organization. Um, they funded, my, funded me and my research, and they've been patient with me and kind, and uh, you know they've gotten us to where we are here. So that's what we got going on. So as far as the product itself, every U-Box comes with three pieces of hardware. Okay, so the first piece of hardware that it comes with is a remote control. The second piece of hardware that it comes with is an HDMI cord, which plugs directly into the television screen. And then last but not least, it comes with a power cord. Okay, and that's it, just three pieces of hardware. So it makes it very mobile. You can take it with you on the road. You can go to hotels with it. It works anywhere in the world as long as there's an internet connection. Okay, You have to have an internet connection. So we recommend a speed of at least 10 megabits per second in order for it to work. Um, you know, the average household, start, they start you out at 20 megabits per second. So you know, as long as you're like 10 or above, you're good. But the faster it works, the faster you're going to get, obviously, the faster the computer works. Because in essence, it is a computer. Um, the very first thing that it does when you plug it into your television is it turns your television into a computer screen. Right? So. We partnered up with Android to provide this software that you see here, very familiar to a lot of people that have Android uh, smartphones. Um, you click on and you can customize the toolbar down here. Oh, by the way, uh, every box also comes with three USB inputs, so you can control it with three different USB devices. Right now I have this wireless mouse uh, and this wireless keyboard sold separately, and they're in here um, controlling it. You can even plug in a, a webcam as well. Because um, as you see here, it's one of the applications. You can Skype on here. You can check your Facebook, your Gmail, um, Netflix, YouTube. Um, this little global icon right here actually is pretty cool because it allows you to go on to the internet and browse. Just the same way you would a laptop or a computer. You can go on Facebook. You can, you know, anything that your regular browser you can do, uh, you can do on here as well. The good thing is, instead of having or staring at a 17-inch screen, you, you know, you got your big screen TV. Cool. But you take it back, and you know that's pretty cool, but it's not really cutting edge, right? It's not really cutting edge. You can go to Target, you can go to Walmart, you can get smart TVs anywhere, but it's a cool little feature that we throw in there. What really separates us, however, is this little application that you see right here called the X. Uh, is anybody familiar with XBMC? Have you heard of XBMC before? Some people, yeah. Okay. Well, XBMC stands for Xbox Media Center, and it was a platform created by Microsoft in 1988. Um, and what it did was it helped gamers communicate with one another. Um, you know, it's evolved over the years to become what it is today. It's a, it's a platform by which people can actually share video, music. Uh, they can even stream video games nowadays through XBMC. So it's a pretty powerful platform. Um, the problem is, it's not the most user friendly. You have to be kind of technical, you know, you have to be tech savvy to jump on it. Not the average person can just navigate through it. Uh, they have pop ups, they have like add add ons, and um, another interesting thing called viruses, right? Mm -hmm. Trojan horse viruses that can ruin your entire computer. So um, for the average person, it, it's, not, it's, it's not that good. But um, what we did, was we created a software, patented it to where uh, it controls XBMC, takes all the pitfalls out, so to speak. So uh, it makes it pass what we like to call the mom test. Like if my mom can use it, anybody can use it, right? You guys know my mom, she just, she just learned how to text message like a year ago, so she's not the most sophisticated when it comes to technology. Um, we just made it plug and play. So without further ado, we click on to XBMC, and it takes you over here. You box something. Uh, gives you a number of different programs by which you can access. You can check videos, which we'll get back to. Music is pretty awesome because 
with this program, it'll allow you um, to access all the streaming music that you see on, on the web. Okay, so your Pandora, your TuneIn Radio, your Vivo, uh, your Spotify, you can check it all through this application right here. Every box also comes with an audio optical output. Okay, so you can plug right into your sound bars, you can plug right into your speaker systems. Um, it's a pretty cool system. So if you just used it all by itself, just as a music player, it's pretty powerful. It even has a karaoke app. Filipinos <laughs> love that. <laughs> they love that. So, you know, you can plug in your USB mic and sing karaoke even. Uh, that's the music player. The video player is really where the action starts. So, I mean, if you check on here, these are seven of our favorite applications. First one being uh, US TV now. Uh, now, if you guys don't mind me asking, does anybody here pay for cable at home? Mm -hmm. Anybody? Yes. Give us a favor. Shout out your cable company, Cons. Direct TV. Direct TV. Okay. Uh, is it safe to say that they would charge you for the basic channels? They'll charge anywhere between uh, forty and eighty dollars a month, just for the basics, though, not like the you know Showtime or yeah. premium channels, but just the basics. Well, here the US TV now, we want to give you all the basic channels. Um, you know, your ESPN, your CNN, your TNT, um, all the basic channels with live support on US TV will give to you absolutely free. And once again, you got to check the internet connection, make sure that's rocking. Um, so the good thing is it'll allow you to watch in live streaming as, as you watch it, okay, as they're playing. And that's television with commercials. Um, one thing we also have to check is the internet speed. You have to have, a, I mentioned earlier, you have to have a minimum 10 megabits per second. So this will tell you what the speed's running at. It's running pretty well. Every box also comes with the internet speed test application, so you can check before you even start um, how fast the internet's going. So this application right here with the speed test, you have to have a minimum download speed 10 megabits per second. So here it says 31, it works good. So getting back to XBMC, GoTV gives you all the television programming without commercials. So this is like television on demand. Do you guys have like Netflix? Anybody yes. Have Netflix? Okay. So this is kind of like uh, for Netflix but on steroids because it gives you every single television program uh, pretty much in the history of television programs. So it doesn't matter what the network is, whether it's Game of Thrones, I think that's on HBO, or you have your you know, Empire or Sons of Anarchy, you'd be able to access, I mean, I think Sons of Anarchy, oh no, I'm sorry, House of Cards. Have you guys heard of House of Cards? Mm -hmm. That's only available on Netflix, um, but we give you every single episode up to date. Okay, so up to date episodes, no commercials, you'll be able to access on Go TV. And it's just, it's not just the newest shows, why not? It also applies to all the old shows. We were watching I Love Lucy, Freshman's of Bel Air, Happy Days on here. Uh -huh. All you do is click onto the search right here, and it gives you the ability to access all those episodes commercial free. Can you demonstrate that for me? Sure. Go out here. For instance, I'm a big. What's your What's your favorite? Uh, what's your favorite episode? Or what's, what's your favorite, favorite uh, television show? Oh, I like this. Sons of Anarchy? Yeah, Sons of Anarchy. Okay, cool. So Sons of Anarchy will click on, for instance. And a lot of people, like, you know, if you go on Netflix, you'll be able to access Sons of Anarchy. The problem is, um, you know, they only give you up to season six, correct? Yeah. You know, they always hold off on season so they can get the DVD sales going and this and that. But here, we give you all the way to season seven. Where if you click on the season seven, it'll give you a drop down list of all the different episodes. Um, you know, each season. So, for instance, it says here 7 x one That stands for obviously season 7, episode 1, that's season 7, episode 2, 3, 4, all the way down to the last episode, season 13. Okay, so all you have to do at this point is click on menu, press auto link, and then you'll search for the best possible feed. And what this technology that we've developed does is what's called file scraping. Okay? So all it's doing is simply file scraping the entire internet and searching for the best possible feed. Now once it's latched itself to the best possible feed, it draws it back into the box and then 
out through the HDMI cord and onto your television screen. What this box does not allow you to do is it does not allow you to download, it does not allow you to duplicate, it does not allow you to host anything that you see on here. So basically what we're doing, and the reason why we're able to become compliant is because we're operating in an unregulated space. And an unregulated space is called streaming and file sharing technology. Uh, as of last Thursday, it strengthened our position in the marketplace because the FCC just passed a new law called net neutrality, and I encourage you guys to look at it. Um, it's been, they've been going back and forth on net neutrality now for um, previously on. They've been going back and forth on net neutrality now for the last couple of years. But it was basically, uh, you know, the cable companies wanted to regulate. Uh, what you what what type of traffic, what type of uh, websites that you could see and view, because they were finding, you know, things like Netflix and Amazon were just taking so much bandwidth and this and that. So they were trying to regulate it. So the FCC just passed the rule where it's completely unregulated, and it's back to the status quo, even even less regulated than it was before. So it's put together a platform by which this business can really explode, because before the only thing that there, that really uh, was a controversy over was streaming technology. After after uh, Napster, we realized they couldn't shut down file sharing because then it opens a Pandora box. Like you have to shut down emails and this and that. So the reason that uh, uh, the reason Napster fell apart was because they determined it was a platform by which you can download and duplicate. Well, now that we've created this box and all we're doing is streaming file sharing, we're completely compliant, and now you know the beneficiaries are the users. So this is an example. Uh, as you guys see, the quality is HD streaming. It's not taking up any of the um, storage on here at all because you're not storing anything. It's just streaming. Cool? Cool. All right. Awesome. So that's just an example right there. So we have television without commercials. And that's at any show in the history, pretty much. You'll be able to access and go TV. Now, Go Movies is another thing. Are you guys movie fans? Anybody? Yep. Movie fans? Oh, yeah. Awesome. So we'll run a search. The good thing is here, you can find movies, um, you know, as long as you know how to spell them. <laughs> Sometimes I struggle with that. But you can search by movie or actor. So we'll start with movies. Does anyone have a favorite movie that they have that they like? How about Sniper? You got Sniper on there? American Sniper. Or what's your favorite movie of all time? Oh, favorite movie of all time? Yeah. Sniper the Warriors. The Warriors? Yeah. Ooh, that's the Warriors. The Warriors. Is that spelled correct? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Check out the Warriors. You click the search, and it will give you these. Is this one you're talking about? Yeah. 1979, the yeah. classic? Yeah. The bottles? And the <laughs> Warriors. Warriors come out to play. Actors is also Ooh. awesome. You can type in an actor's name, and it will give you uh, kind of like their discography, so to speak. Yeah. Right? So is there anybody who has a favorite actor? Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler. Is, I love Adam Sandler. One of my favorites. Oh, there it is. Look, he's smiling. He has a U-box. <laughs> he's excited. You click on Adam Sandler, um, and it'll kind of give you, like, you know, the, the bigger the movie star, the, the, more, <laughs> the more titles they obviously have. So you click on Adam Sandler, and it'll kind of give you uh, every movie that he's ever shot. Movie that he's pretty, yeah. pretty much shot. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes we use a script error because they're, they have so many, but... We'll, we'll get back to that. I just want to show you guys a couple of different ones, <coughs> different movies that you guys have seen too. Because you mentioned American Sniper, and American Sniper is kind of a newer movie, right? right, right. It's kind of like in theaters now, and you know. So we clicked on popular, and here are some of the movies that you see here. You mentioned American Sniper. It's on. There. Can you click on that so we can see yeah, it play? Yeah, Sherry's of Grey. You know, we have the Warriors. We have Avengers. We Click on to American Sniper. That's Birdman too, huh? Yeah, Birdman. So let me just explain a little bit because I know you guys probably have some questions. You say, "Oh, what's going on here? You guys get these new movies. You these Asian guys walking around. Who <laughs> like movies? What's going on here?" So. Let me just give you guys a little background on kind of um, how the thing works. Um, once again, we're operating in an unregulated space, streaming and file sharing technology. That's how we're compliant, okay? But the movies, this still doesn't give an explanation as to why, how do we get access to these movies? They're early, 
right? So it kind of goes back to Hollywood and Hollywood story. And we can we all agree that Hollywood's a pretty profitable industry and they know how to make money. Uh, that's because they don't rarely they rarely take any losses, okay? Um, because let's say American Sniper, for instance, costed $50 million to create. Well, before it's ever shown here in the United States of America, the first thing that they do is they go all around the world selling the licensing agreements to each and every country. So they may go to Australia and sell it for $10 million. Or they'll go to um, England and sell it for $10 million. Maybe they'll go to the Philippines and sell it for a couple million. Right? They go all around the world to make sure they recoup their entire film budget before ever hitting the United States of America. While I was living abroad, I would watch these movies before any of my friends did, and I would ruin it for them. I'd call them up like, ah, this is how Gone Girl ended. <laughs> you know, I'd mess it up for them because I just thought it was funny that we get them like so much earlier. So now what you're seeing is, um, so this is what will happen, just to go back to it. It will give you all these different links, see? Uh -huh. Each and every one of these links is an option by which you can click and watch watch the movie. So the way it works with the software is it organizes it by the best link. So it'll go up to the top, find the best one, and bring it in. Uh, I won't display it right now only because I want to get through the whole presentation. But you see how it has the first one, B-Box, and uh, it'll allow you to watch that one first. Okay. Or the second one, if that one doesn't work, the second one works. Okay. But there's an autoplay option where you can click here, and it'll just find the best available one, and it'll queue it for you. So that's how it pretty much works in terms of um, in terms of how it gets it. But getting back to the Hollywood story, the reason why um, they're able to get these movies earlier because what's happening is you have countries such as China where they have a different type of copyrights than, than they do in the states. To where when a movie comes out in theaters in China, it comes out on DVD the same exact day. So when that happens, it's kind of like okay, what's to stop a person who owns the DVD in China from putting it on a computer? and uploading it into the cloud to be accessed for the rest of the world. You know, I try to tell people it's the world wide web, not just the American wide web. Yeah. And I like to sit here and act smarter than I actually am, but in all honesty, this technology's been around. It's been there in China for the last seven years. They've, they've moved close to a billion units, something similar to this. That's because out there, they don't have your traditional cable company, direct TV. The, the only way they can access US programming is through the internet. So this came out of necessity for that region. Where in here, it's like, okay, it didn't have to really come because people had options. If it doesn't work and you can't find it on the computer, they'll just click right on cable and find it. So now what we did is we took the box, that type of technology, and we got it compliant with everything that's going here. Because the original box from China, those, the, their technology wasn't allowed here. They, they allowed you to do some crazy things to it. Like you could burn it as you're streaming, like all kinds of duplication, like whatever. So we just have to stop the ability to duplicate and download uh, and really patent that. So uh, the hardware was generated and, and manufactured in China, where the software is uh, developed in the Philippines and the programming is developed here domestically. So that's how we put all the pieces together. You know, we have the box. Cool. And I'll get back to other ones as well. I just want to show you guys a couple more things. Um, there's the movies. So we have US TV now, which gives you live streaming television. Um, we have Go TV, which allows you to watch television without commercials. You have Go Movies, which allows you to watch all the movies, search for movies through actors or movie titles. Um, Phoenix is amazing because it gives you um, international programming. So all the different countries from all around the world, you'll be able to check out. Um, Cartoon HD is wonderful. <clears throat> A lady the other day came in here and she called this the babysitter box because it has every single cartoon that you can think of in the history of cartoons. Nice. So every episode, every every single one, like if you have kids, this thing is a savior. Someone was even able to uh, share with us, uh, file share their Disney collection, where they, they gave us every single Disney movie. I'll show you guys just a list so that you guys can kind of see there's different um, formats you can take a look at. But they gave us every single Disney movie since the very first one in 1937 and moved us all the way up. Snow White all the way to the top. Alright? The newest one. Where if you wanted to click on Tinkerbell, for instance, that's the newest one um, on the Disney motion pictures. Just so that you guys see kind of like the quality that they have available as well. <laughs> Thank you. 
this for all the seasons of life, side by side. Quality is pretty impressive. You have that available. Okay. Um, so as far as Disney movies, as far as cartoons, like it's in parallel as far as the children's uh, programming. Project Free TV is amazing as well. A lot of people will ask me, well, what about DVR capabilities? Are you able to DVR? Well, with Project Free TV, once again, we don't, we're not able to download anything or, or store anything, but Project Free TV does it for you. It captures every single episode of every single show on network television within the last 24 hours, the last three days, last seven days, last month, even the last 90 days. Um, and it's cool enough to even put it in alphabetical order for you guys so you don't have to search by network per se. You can just go in, you can click. Um, obviously, there's going to be a little bit more content, but it'll just gather everything within the last 24 hours, put it into the system, and allow you to access it. So if you missed yesterday's episode of uh, uh, American Idol or you missed uh, you know episode of Jimmy Kimmel Live or whatever, um, what this application allows people to do is DVR everything without having me to set the DVR. You know, a lot of times I'll just miss shows because the DVR is too complicated for me to figure out. Or you run out of space. Yeah, or you run out of space. Or it'll only allow you to do like maybe five to six shows at a time. Is that how it normally works? And uh, most of the times too with these DVRs, they charge you per, per box that, you know, that DVRs. Yeah. So, you know, per room, it's another $10 a box per room if you have, like, you know, a couple DVRs. So the cool thing about here is it eliminates the need for that, eliminates that bill as well, because it gives you everything. Um, so if you missed yesterday's episode of Alaska, The Last Frontier, I think that's on, uh, I think that's on the Discovery Channel, or Angry Birds, or, you know, Black Sails, or whatnot. It'll pretty much, uh, it'll pretty much do it all for you. Nice. Pretty cool. Oh, yes. Cool. Miss the Voice, season four, episode eight. Okay. It'll, it'll get it for you. And that's you saw that how that was just within the last twenty four hours. It doesn't search even up to the last ninety days. No commercials on that. No commercials. Yeah. So that's Project Free TV. Dragon Streams is an interesting, interesting application they put together. It gives you all the sporting events, so all the live sporting events: basketball, baseball, football. Um, so even pay-per-view events, they say, you know, hypothetically speaking, if there was a big fight to happen on May 2nd between the greatest boxer of all time and some clown named Floyd, <laughs> <laughs> you'll be able to access here, access here on Dragon Streams live in HD, uninterrupted. We, we watched the Ronda Ram, Ram Rousey fight. We watched the Silva fight. I'm a WWE fan. I'm not afraid to, uh, not ashamed to admit it. Do you watch SummerSlam and all the pay per view events on Dragon Stream, which uh, saves a bunch of money? Like these seven right here that you see are just seven of our favorite apps. And once again, the great thing about the box is that it's like a living, breathing organism. We're always updating, we're always putting new information on, taking information out. So that way, when you see it working, just like how a computer is working, it's because we're updating it, we're getting more content, it's getting better. Um, you see seven apps here. You click onto the add-ons, and it gives you another 64 in your mainframe. Just to go over a couple with you, Beat.com is one of the most comprehensive adult uh, programming search engine on the entire internet. You can search any adult film, any adult actor, actress, or whatnot. You can check it out on here. However, uh, if there's kids in the household and you want to put parental locks, or it just you know the adult scene is not really your thing. You can always click on here to menus, go to add-on information. You can disable it from the mainframe. You can uninstall it completely from your box, or you can change the log and, uh, and put parental controls on it. So either way, it's, it's your option. It's up to you. Um, DocuHub is amazing because it gives you all documentaries, <coughs> uh, you know, concert archive. It gives you live concerts and all the concerts from the past, the classic, Rolling Stones, all those ones. Those are cool. Uh, Food Channel obviously gives you Food Channel on demand. Genesis is actually um, the mother program to Go Movies and Go TV, so you can get everything on Genesis that you would Go TV, Go Movies. Actually, they're actually merging those two into Genesis. So in, in a little while, Go Movies and Go TV will be irrelevant. You can get everything from Genesis 
Um, I live lets you see all kinds of streaming. Uh, I mean, we, we were able to watch a live lecture on quantum physics at Harvard University on iLive. So it gives you something like the self-help and just streaming live from all over the world. HoloLive is tremendous in terms of its international programming. Over 80 different countries, over 1,000 different international channels. Um, so I know Spanish is a big, uh, you know, a big market for Mexican programming, programming from Colombia, El Salvador. Um, you'd be able to access a hollow TV. Uh, Movies HD is another one. As far as like a basketball, football, um, hockey, you'd be able to get on here as well. Um, there's a UFC app which allows you to backtrack all the UFC fights from the very first UFC fight all the way through. Gives you behind the scenes, uh, you know, interviews with fighters and whatnot. It's just an app dedicated just to UFC. Sports Devil, once again, it's another streaming uh, website or another streaming app which allows you to watch all the sporting programs live. Um, you'll be able to catch it on here. There's there's a couple more sports for the people who love sports. Um, world News Live is amazing because it gives you live uh, news all around the world. So you click on whether it's your ABC, your CNN, your uh, C-SPAN, um, you'd be able to click BBC to news channels all around the world, you know. So if you were to click on ABC News, you click on there, it'll give you the news that's playing on ABC. Just moved out of his Live house, streaming. gave me his house, and I have the kids for the weekend. Right. So I cooked for them, that's threw their baths, we played our projects, I went. So uh, it gives you that. So the, so far you see about 64 different applications, aside from the seven that you saw in the main print. When you click on here, on the Get More feature, and it'll show you over 1,100 different applications. So I mean, it's unlimited as far as content is concerned. I probably know the box as good as anybody, but as you see right here, 1,115 different apps, right? I probably know this box is good or better than anybody, and I feel as though I haven't even scratched 10% of its content. These are all apps, separate apps, that'll lead you to a new portal. People asked me the other day, like, Roscoe, well, does this thing come with a, a TV guide? I mean, we'll give you the basics, but I mean, really, does, does the internet come with a TV guide? This is, in essence, what it is. You just have to search for it, and you'll find it. Anything, you'll find it. Even YouTube. We even installed the YouTube application here. What we did for our viewers is uh, we've taken away, um, we've taken away all the ads, so there's no ads. You know, normally when you click on a YouTube and you search, you got to watch a two-minute commercial. We wiped that out for you guys as well. So, all of those things that you see, we made available to you guys. And the box, all we're doing is we're selling computers. We're not charging a monthly fee. You know, but we're not charging like. You know, installation or anything like that, it's just computers. That's all we're selling. Make sense? Uh -huh. You guys have any questions in regards to the technical part of it? You have a question, Tiff? Yeah, I have a couple of questions. Go ahead. <coughs> Appreciate you guys for saying yeah, that. Was a longer so, like, with the copyright, yeah, right? I mean, it's, I, I understand that it's not downloading. Um, but like for instance, like if businesses are playing music, like Muzak, you know, is a company that goes around and scares small businesses, yes. you know, for playing radio yeah. at their business, right? Yes. So, when so wouldn't this be kind of the same way? Well, the businesses they operate in a different, um, you know, if you're in business and you have to, like for instance, um, that's a great question because the person was asking us, well, can we add the U-Box, technically could we show the Ronda Rousey fight, you know, with the U-Box? And I said, you guys are free to do what you want to do, in the, you know, it's, it's your business. However, you understand that there's different licensing that goes in the commercial facilities. So it's, like, it's at buyer's risk. <clears throat> yeah, it's buyer's risk as far as, the, as, far as commercial because right. for a pay-per-view event, um, you have to be pay separate licensing to show an event, depending on the capacity of your yeah, audience. Yeah, I own the own club. Yeah. Yeah. So I, you I, I, it costs me $1,000 to put on a UFC fight. Exactly, yeah. because you have to pay that separate licensing. So if an agent were to come in, you have to provide that. Whether yeah. you showed it through the U-Box or you bought a pay-per-view or whatever, you'd have to show that. Yeah. Now what you do in the privacy of your own home cannot be regulated. And that position got strengthened last Thursday by the FCC. 
but as far as a business and how it works with a business, you still you, you, you still have to abide by the laws that govern your business. So the U box is that you know you can do what you want with it, but just like you can do what you want with a laptop or a computer, you know you can break into the CIA mainframe if you like, and you know how you use it is up to you. But in terms of uh, in the privacy of your own home, you know the government said you can do whatever you want. But in a business setting, you have to abide by you know whatever rules and regulations go with licensing. And that's how you got the um, the FCC uh, stamp on on it, so that you you explain it's, all. They, they seen all this, and you have to. You can't yeah. just put a hundred thousand units like you know without yeah. crossing the T's or dotting the I's. Yeah, I tried, <laughs> but yeah, they won't let you. So you know we have to make it compliant. And that's yeah. what it is. It's a computer. So the MLM side. Um, if we can talk about that yeah. a little bit. I, I, can, uh, I can break the comp plan for yeah, you. If you can. Yeah, if you can. Awesome. We retail the product for three ninety nine. So just like you said, if you wanted, if a person just wanted to purchase it, we retail the box for three ninety nine. So people are not interested in uh, making money or anything, but they come in, they see a cool product, they're like, oh man, how can I buy it? We retail for three ninety nine. Okay. Uh, but then there's those people who see the product and they say, hey, I, I might know some people that would like this thing. So we offer people the ability to become VIP members with Uway, which is our distribution company. So for an annual fee of $50, okay, that's just once a year, it'll give a person access to all of the Uway products that come through our pipeline. This is just the first, which is the Uway. We're working on a high-speed internet um, router that'll boost your internet signal. It can take an average signal of like 30 megabits per second and jump it up to 250, 300 megabits per second. Awesome. Something that hasn't been seen uh, on the market. We're, we're in the process of getting that pushed through. We have another product, HD projector. It's an HD projector with the, uh, with, the with our player uh, built in to the, to the projector. So that's another product we're lining up. As well as like upsell items like the U board, the U balance, the U cam, all the things that you know, tools that'll give our distributor, the, uh, you know, distributors the opportunity to make more income. So that's what the fifty is for. So for the total four forty nine to get started, okay, a person will receive several things. The first thing they'll receive is they'll receive inventory. They'll get their first U box plus the training and support. Right? We're going to teach you not just how to use the box, but also how to sell the box. Um, every Monday morning, I mean, every morning we're doing uh, webinars at 9 a.m. for the people who are around the world to provide support. Uh, we also do open training here at the head office facility. We also just purchased a new building uh, in Yorba Linda, uh, over 12,000 square feet. We've got the UA on the side of the building, so that's going to be headquarters for you know master distributors from all around the world to come spend time with us and train. Uh, so the training and support we're developing. I mean, we're a month in. We're, we're still learning. We're not even at the ground level. We're at the mud level. So that's why we're bringing in these specialists from all around the world um, to help us train and teach and come up and perfect the system. So that's the first thing you get. The second thing you get now is now as a UA distributor, okay, now you receive the boxes at the wholesale price of 250 moving forward. So. If all a person wanted to do, and that answers your question earlier, if all a person wanted to do was direct sales, they could just do direct sales without network marketing. And now, for every direct sale, they make $150. Because if you're getting it at $250, you're selling it at $399, I mean, $140 to $150. So, you know, we have people in here, three people last week that hit the Century Club, meaning they did 100 boxes in one week. Um, three people. Came in, so obviously they, they sold them for 400. They made 15 grand each in our first, you know, first time they hit three in one week. The third thing you get is you also get a website and a UID number. Okay, the website is significant because it'll allow you to have your own website with a URL, so it'd be like uboxlive.com backslash Roscoe or whatever your username is. So you can point traffic to your friends and family members all around the world uh, to be able to purchase from your website. Okay. The other thing that we also have is a UID number. The only way a person can purchase from Ubox Live is if they type in a distributor number. They couldn't, meaning they couldn't just go on Ubox. Or like you told them about the opportunity, they say, oh, I don't know about that, and go behind your back and just order it, and the company gets all the money. 
We wanted to make sure to protect our distributors that everyone who purchases from the website has to type in a UID number. So that maintains the integrity of the, of the system. Do you have customer service? Yes. Yeah. And then when they call in, is it the same way? I'm sorry? When, they, when the customers call in? Oh, we have customer, customer service as technical support. Technical we don't support. have customer service set up to take orders. They can only purchase it from the website Got or it. their distributor. Got it. As of now. Okay. But eventually, when you later on, when you do set up a customer service, yes. they're still going to need a UID. They're going to need a UID. Yes. Need no, matter no matter what. No matter what. That's all. That's all. Okay. Yeah. And, yeah. and what about the warranty? And, and how many days, if they don't like it, can they return it? Yeah, they have the one year manufacturer's warranty. Uh, we're working on an extended two year warranty as well. And then we're complying in every single state in terms of uh, money back guarantee. So, you have the state of California, any um, hardware, computer hardware, whatnot, it's 14 day money back guarantee. Okay. And then last but not least, for the people who have networks, and we want to also give them the opportunity to generate management overrides, okay? So it's direct sales with management overrides. So let's say this is the right for the person right here. You know, the model that we have at the, at the office is, you know, you refer three and your box is free. Because for every person that you refer to as a distributor in your organization, you'll also make 150 bucks. So I want to make the distinction between um, a person who signed up as a, a VIP member or a person who just purchases the box as a customer, okay? A person who purchases the box as a customer, they buy it for $3.99, but it's just like a one-off. You don't have an opportunity to make their residuals. So you make 150 bucks because since you're getting a 250. However, if you sign someone up as a distributor, and have them pay the extra 50 bucks. The reason why 95% of the people that buy the box actually pay the extra 50 is because now you have an opportunity to take advantage of, of the comp plan, the Unilevel comp plan. Okay, so this is your first level, 150. Meaning if I were to introduce my friend to the opportunity, he says, hey, this looks great. I'd like to join on as a distributor. Well, for me introducing him to the opportunity, okay, I would make $150. So either way, if I, if I introduce him as a, uh, as a distributor or a customer, I would make $150 on that first point of contact sale. However, since he became a distributor, now he has the ability to, to, to pass the opportunity on to other people. So at the second level, right, if they were to pass that opportunity on at level two, they would receive a $20 override. Okay? And we go all the way down, three, four, five, six, seven. At the third level, they receive $10. Fourth level, they receive five. Fifth level, they receive five. The sixth level, they receive two, uh, three. And then the seventh level, we went ahead and made it, we gave it a little jump and made it go back up to seven on the seventh level. Meaning each way down, you'd be able to make uh, residual income management override off of the team that you create. So I want to make the distinction that it's based off of the distributorship on your team, and, you and not just have the So, uh, and don't you guys have the commission software? Yes, that's it. That's part of the website. You get your own duplicate website with the back office, to where you can log in, check your genealogy, you can check your sales, you can check the sales of uh, you know people all around. Like it's going to be open door. Like you'll be able to check. And that's and track. fifty dollars annually. Annually, yeah, no monthly charge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So to maintain your back office website, once you're in, you're in. So we're trying to introduce some new components to give it more of a residual income. Like so, like we're going to have components where like we're developing, um, you know, more technology applications. For instance, training seminars, webinars that you'd be able to install in here. That if you pay the nineteen ninety nine a month, it can help your business grow and whatnot. So those type of things would be a residual component. But as of now, it's just the box and the complement based on the box. They'll just be added features and bonuses. Um, we also do a profit share pool, okay, so the company decided to take $5 off of every box and put it into the presidential pool, so to speak, to where, you know, and this is subject to change because we kind of want to make it exclusive, but people are already hitting these landmarks within like the first two weeks, so we're thinking we might have to bump up the requirements, but as it stands, um, anyone who brings 25 people to their frontline organization, meaning the first, the first line of distributorship on level one, okay, then they receive a dollar in the profit share pool. Anyone who brings a hundred receives two dollars in the profit share pool. 
that anyone who brings two fifty will then receive two dollars in the profit share fund. Okay? So, meaning like you say hypothetically speaking, this month we're gonna do ten thousand units. All right? So ten thousand times the five bucks, that gives you fifty grand in the pool. Okay, let's say uh, you know you five are the only to qualify, only five to qualify with 250 on your front line. That means the five of you guys, right, will split the 50 grand at the end of each, uh, at the end of the first, the first month. And so that means you, know, you guys get 10 grand each, and we pay that out monthly as far as the, uh, the bonus pool. And then it resets every month. And, uh, but if it doesn't hit well, one month, for instance, then kind of roll it into the next month, kind of like the Powerball. So makes the pool bigger and bigger. This is subject to change. Once again, we, I'm humble, man. I didn't think we we're going to get this fast of a growth, but we want to make it to where it is only like five, ten people splitting the big pool, so it'll be a larger, you know, bonus to strive for each and every month. So in, that, in essence, we're taking with the five dollars plus uh, everything that we have here. Uh, I mean, we're taking about two hundred and five dollars out of the three ninety nine back to the field. Same deal they would have given me right now from Best Buy or, or, or Walmart. But we feel like you know, the profit share amongst the distributor, it'll be more powerful or not. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Any questions? Yeah, it wraps it up. Yeah. Any questions that you guys have? Please oh, yeah. Down. When are, when, uh, when are the commissions paid? Every Friday. Every Friday. Yeah. Right now we're just doing checks, which is giving people checks, mailing them their checks. Direct um, deposit. We can do direct deposit with Bank of America, okay. uh, but we're cutting people like physical checks right now.